big time celebrity musician pulling out of Connecticut. No. Oh. Paul Simon. Oh. There's a parody for you. 50 ways to leave Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> or 50 reasons to leave 50 Connecticut. 50 reasons. reasons. 50 that's, reasons, that's, yeah. Make a new plan. So, uh, the legendary songwriter Paul Simon and his wife, singer-songwriter Edie Brickell, have listed their 32-acre New Canaan estate for $13.9 million. I'll take it. It's a gorgeous house, so I have pictures of it. Yeah, I just went through it myself. Yeah. It, it's not as big as you would think. Right. It's really, I think, about the property. Um, nice house. Yep. But I just pictured something massive. Right. Yeah. Nice. New Canaan. It's yeah. nice. It's yeah. very nice. I would so, think it... can you look up New Canaan? I remember the last time we did this, it was just full of red dots. I mean, right. there's so many houses for sale in New Canaan. Really? Yeah. Uh, you sound surprised. Like nothing I could afford. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, price represents a 16% drop from the $16.5 million Simon purchased it for in 2002. Oh. Earlier this month, another popular music icon, Tommy Matola, sold his Greenwich estate for $14.9 million. A loss on that one. Yeah. I think they were all secretly hoping that the election would go another way and taxes would be cut. They were hoping. Uh, Simon and uh, Brickle raised their three children there and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. What do we know about New Canaan? Yeah, the entire town is red. Yeah. Uh, well, you're starting to see a little blue dots pop up now uh, on Zillow. Anyway, that means that they're uh, in pre foreclosure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ouch. Drop off the key. <laughs> <laughs> yes, drop off the key, Lee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this house ain't for me. Right. Look at the house they had that famous slap fight. Him and his wife. Yeah. Just listen to me. 